Hi everyone, welcome back to the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Steven de Vos and I'm a Belgian dermatologist. Today we are diving into a topic that's often a concern for those on testosterone replacement therapy, acne. We'll explore a potential solution, microdosing isotretinoin, also known as Accutane or Roaccutane. If you've been dealing with persistent acne, stick around because this one is for you. Before we get into the details, let's quickly touch on why acne might be a concern for men on TRT. Hormonal changes, especially an increase in testosterone levels, can sometimes lead to acne flare-ups. If you're experiencing this, know that you're not alone. Now, let's talk about microdosing isotretinoin. Traditionally used for severe acne, microdosing involves taking a lower, more manageable dose over an extended period. It's gaining attention for its potential in managing acne on TRT. Before considering microdosing isotretinoin, it's crucial to consult with your dermatologist as he will assess your acne severity, overall health and whether microdosing is a suitable option for you. Before even considering isotretinoin, make sure that you've already explored other treatment options for acne on TRT, as I have explained in several other videos and in my ebook. Think about using the right cleansers, supplements and topical products to prevent and treat breakouts on TRT. Microdosing typically involves taking a lower daily or weekly dose compared to traditional isotretinoin treatment. This approach aims to minimize side effects while still addressing acne concerns. It's a careful balance between effectiveness and safety. I typically prescribe doses of 10 to 20 mg isotretinoin per day, depending on the patient's weight and severity of the acne. Since we typically aim for a cumulative dose of isotretinoin of about 120 to 150 mg per kilogram of body weight, microdosing will take much longer to reach the cumulative dose. My preference is for low daily doses, 10 to 20 mg daily. They achieve excellent acne clearance on reaching the cumulative dose and treatment is extremely well tolerated with minimal dryness of skin and lips. So, why consider microdosing? Well, it may help manage acne without the severe side effects associated with higher doses. This includes less impact on lipid levels and liver function, which are often concerns with traditional isotretinoin use. If your doctor decides microdosing is the way to go, follow his guidelines closely. Regular checkups will monitor your skin's response and blood tests will ensure your body is handling the medication well. Like any medication, microdosing isotretinoin has potential side effects. Dry skin, lips and eyes are common, but they're often manageable. For women on isotretinoin, contraception is crucial if she is sexually active to prevent potential birth defects, as isotretinoin can be harmful during pregnancy. Men can safely take isotretinoin capsules if they and their partner are trying for a baby or their partner is pregnant. Isotretinoin does not seem to damage sperm. Only small amounts of isotretinoin get into semen, which is too little to harm the unborn baby. In conclusion, managing acne on TRT requires a personalized approach. Microdosing isotretinoin could be the solution you've been looking for. But always remember, consultation with a healthcare professional is key. Taking control of your skin health is part of the journey to feeling your best. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights on health and wellness. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one.